Banks gang, it's Anala here and in today's video, we're gonna talk about a story time. On my TikTok, talk, somebody had basically was telling me that they think that I would be a really good PI. So I'm here to give y'all a story time on why I am a really good PI. I never went to school before. <laughs> But many, many moons ago, one of my children was going to daycare. It was one of them scenarios when the daycare could tell when I would send a child, vice versa to when somebody else would send a child. It was many times where the daycare would write it up in the report and they was on my side because they was like, no, we see how you dress the child, how you interact with the child, like, you know, you feed the child. We could tell. I was out of town one day, and I ended up getting a phone call. You need to come get your child because the child got a really high fever, and it's a bump on the butt. So I'm like, ooh, uh-oh, got to go do that. So I flew into town, hurry up, got my, got my baby, took my baby to the hospital. And the hospital was like, yeah, we're going to have to keep the baby because it's a cyst um is very very deep we got to remove it like your child going into surgery by the morning so i was like oh oh damn oh shit hold on wait a minute hold up i gotta process this you said what like it was one of them why i'm telling y'all this story time is because when i was out of town this so-called friend i thought that was my friend and i could confide in my friend because i just got a phone call telling me basically drop everything craig's in trouble so friend was trying to figure out why i'm about to leave like we just got here but why i got to go so i was trying to tell friend why i had to go but that was my fuck up because i didn't know that this person was gonna try to use that information against me in the future which this person did but that's okay so let's get into that after this me and the friend fell off because she was feeling some type of way and i was like i got too much shit on my plate i need to be worrying about my child i don't got time to be worrying about this stuff that y'all got going on the girl didn't like that so she took it to the facebook with the facebook fingers and just got to talking all types of shit then when she figured that the stuff she was saying wasn't working she wanted to go ahead and bring up my child so she brought up this situation and was basically trying to say like oh well you know that's why your child is dirty and that right there is when the 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 the, 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 the crazy bitch in me had uh came out she she had full control over the vessel um yeah i was on autopilot at that point because i said okay cool all right, I know you out of town. I know you about to come in town real soon. So let me figure your day out. So I figured out when the girl was going to make it into town. I found out who was doing her hair in the morning. I found out what kind of hairstyle she was getting. I found out who, how she was going to go over, who she was going to pick up with her to go to the hair salon the beauty simple whatever the fuck when you go get your hair did i had a whole day figured out trust me home girl was on the facebook talking about some all oh, if you feel a froggy then leap pull up okay so i did you know what i'm saying i did that's what i did oh you thought i couldn't find you you thought that you was safe okay so i pulled up had the cooler in the back <laughs> and i had sandwiches i had all the beverages so i sat out there all night and waited for homegirl to come outside because i knew that she had a, a appointment a hair appointment at nine o'clock show did so i waited out there and she finally came outside and i parked next to her car because you told me to pull up. Don't act scared when I pull up. Now, don't do that. So, she heard and go run back into the house. So, then I'm like, well, she got to come back outside. So, uh, she tried to peep, tiptoe on outside to see if she could see my... She was trying to see if she could find my license plate in my car. But I already beat you to it because I unscrewed it. And I already... You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting out the car and then I ended up waiting. So, I linked on her car and I was just waiting on her to come outside. But she ain't want to come outside. She uh she had caught the popo, so I'm like, wow. She get on Facebook and she get to saying something completely different than what really just happened. Talking about some she had me running. And I'm like, when? Where? So uh I insert a picture here of when I pulled up. Show did. I knew that she was about to go to her cousin's house. I go over there because I know she about to go pick her up. And then she thought that I wasn't going to see her because I was already out the car waiting. So she never picked up cousin. So then she said, skip it. She ended up going to her hair appointment. So she went there, but she didn't know that I knew she had an appointment there because she didn't know that her beautician was texting me, telling me the whole thing. So I already knew she was about to get a red 
ponytail sleep ponytail up here i already knew about that honey and i already knew what i was about to do with it i let her go up in there i park across the street she go on up in there and i let her get her hair did and then right when the uh brutician was texting me some of them yeah she about to get ready and be done oh yeah i already pulled my car in and it was only one way in one way out so i blocked my car again because she was on facebook again talking about some oh well you could come to me woman to woman so i'm like okay cool so i blocked her in so she couldn't try to pull no funny stunts no more when she come now i come in i'm coming up to her she's like oh my god how did you find me girl you make it so easy duh she up and go run and get into her car so i'm at the window but she's not unlocking the door she's not opening the door she's not rolling down the window she's not doing nothing and i'm like damn that's so crazy how you, you the big bad wolf out there on facebook but in real life girl you is so scary so i was like you said this that that and third about my child come say it in my face she was like you hear about that what else should i be here about then since it seemed like you wasn't expecting me for that what what else is it that i'm here for i guess she was trying to call her cousin but her cousin didn't have a car so her cousin couldn't couldn't come up there to come help her she Children, you're supposed to leave the children out of you. is not supposed to be sitting up there as no grown-ass adult. Be talking about no child. My my child wasn't even two. You over there got, got my baby name in your mouth like that. Girl, what's wrong with you? I'm like, open the door. Open the door. She didn't want to open it. She was like, hold on. Hey, she dialed 911. I'm like, okay, eh? What is that supposed to do? She was like, uh, can you let me out? So I told the people that I was with, like, blow my car off because, you know, anything can go at this point. She thought I was supposed to hoe up because she had some mace or something. Like, girl, I had my big girl panties on. I was like, I eat that for breakfast. What? She <laughs> that girl got back in her car? She locked them doors, honey, and she skirt, she skirted up out of there. But it's okay because I knew her next move. She thought she was smooth because she got on the freeway, but I already know what exit she was going to take. So I already was behind her. And when she seen that I was behind her, she going to have the audacity to call up her little boyfriend. Like I didn't know where he lived at too. When she got on that freeway and she was going this particular direction, I realized that the plans have changed. And where do I think she may be going to? It was to his house. I can imagine a phone conversation with a little something like this. I don't know what to do. She keep following me that she should go to the local police department. That's where she went and I pulled up behind her there too. Because maybe we can all figure out why you talk about people's children. Now this was the younger me. I know not to behave like this anymore after she seen that i was still on her ash she said to hell with that so she started to go to his house so i started to go to his house too because what hey dang you ain't safe nowhere you go as soon as i get to going live and everybody's starting to see how you playing your cards now you want to talk about you don't want to smoke no more well you should have been sad that from the beginning from the get-go why it take for me to hop on you like this i ain't even touch it i didn't curse at this girl i didn't call this girl her name i didn't do any of that i was just trying to figure out why did you have my child name in your mouth that's it so yeah i did my due diligence and became a pi because one thing about me if i want to know some information yeah i will find it don't underestimate me don't don't treat me like the underdog because i could one thing about me is i could play stupid because i want to see who the smartest person in the room because if i'm the smartest person in the room honey i don't need to be in that room i need to be somewhere else so i be testing people i be playing dumb just so i can see how how the cards is in the room i be trying to figure out the whole deck if you just pay attention you can figure out the whole deck but after this i felt so bad because a few days ago on the tiktok i told y'all that she had went viral for getting snuck in the club and got did real dirty or whatever but this the same girl who i'm telling y'all about i felt bad for her because like i ain't want man life too short man i ain't trying to be sitting up there making nobody that scared of me for what like it's not even that serious so hopefully the girl learned her lesson but i ended up reaching out to her contacting her asking her you know can i get her an apology she ended up giving me an apology I guess she grown up. I ain't seen the girl since then. So I squashed the beef. She squashed the beef with me. Yeah, y'all. That's the time. One of the times that I became a private investigator. If you would like to hear any more story times from me, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 10K views. Can we get the video to 10K views? If we can, I drop two story times in one day. Okay. Let's do it, Banks Gang. I know we can do it, Banks Gang. Let's go. Also, it's a giveaway at 10K. So make sure you are subscribed here to my YouTube channel and around that time i will release the details so you can participate in a giveaway but make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it follow me on tiktok at anala banks follow me on the facebook at anala banks follow me on instagram at anala underscore banks follow me on the snapchat at anala 19 and i will see y'all in the next video honey me love y'all